Now, gene editing a human embryo, well, technically feasible, but an ethical minefield. While the notion of gene editing babies being born with immunity to life-threatening diseases is an enticing prospect, its ethical, moral and medical ramifications have made it a taboo subject for scientists. But the technology has always had a number of backers in Silicon Valley. Now, three high-profile tech entrepreneurs, Sam Altman, his husband Oliver Mulherin, and Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong have backed a U.S. biotech startup called Preventive AI. It is working on research into gene editing of human embryos. The company says it's hoping to show through its findings that it can safely create genetically edited babies and claims that the goal is to eliminate hereditary diseases by editing embryos before pregnancy. In a recent blog post, founder of Preventive AI and gene editing scientist Lucas Harrington he announced that the company has raised $30 million in capital from unnamed private investors. Well, if accurate, this would make it the biggest investment in controversial technology. This could potentially be used to enhance human traits like intelligence, memory or physical strength long before a baby is born. Now, according to a Wall Street Journal report, the startup is looking for a couple willing to carry an edited embryo. Any experimentation on gene editing of human embryos is banned in a number of countries in the world, including the U.S. Federal law even prevents the FDA from considering any trials involving genetically modified embryos, citing ethical risks and unpredictable consequences. Now, Preventive AI is reportedly looking for other jurisdictions where the law does not explicitly ban gene editing on human embryos, such as the United Arab Emirates. It has been done before. In 2018, a Chinese scientist, He Jiankui, stunned the world when he announced that he had edited the genes of a pair of twins to give them immunity from HIV. Jiankui was arrested and sentenced to, four, uh, sentenced to prison for three years. Now, the ramifications of mutating genes with CRISPR technology are not fully understood. Genetic modifications are passed down through generations and can potentially create a lasting change to human physiology. In Jian Kui's case, scientists who studied his research found that he had not created the exact mutation associated with resistance to HIV. Instead, he created previously unseen genetic edits, the effects of which are currently unknown. Well, it sounded like a story straight out of sci-fi novel. The trouble is that we don't know whether the final creation will be Frankenstein or Superman. Is it worth the risk? Well, it depends on who you ask. But like all technological advancements, the cat's out of the bag.